Hi, my name is Hope. I am the cutest horse ever. I'm also the sassiest and my mommy loves me. <laughs> this is Hope and this is Lily. Hi, I'm Gigi. Welcome to Halflingers for Heaven. We are going to show you a day in the life of an equestrian. This is our first video ever, I hope. So we're new at this. <laughs> but we'll, hopefully we'll get better at filming. Lily's tack, saddle, Great. there's her bridle, my saddle pad, my girth, my riser pad. We're gonna go catch Lily's horse. Is she not behaving herself? There's a treat for you, Clover. Don't you want it? She's like, yes, I really want it. Oh my gosh. But it's not worth getting caught. Is it? Is it worth getting caught? <gasps> is it? I just don't know. I don't know. Clover, do you want a treat? She's not behaving. Oh, I don't catch. <laughs> That's horrible. This is what I say when I Here, know I can't catch something. All right, tablet. switching. There's Lily. All right, there's Clover. She doesn't want to be caught. Clover's really cute. Uh oh, here comes Star. Let's hope she catches her. Oh dear. Oh, Clover. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Be good. She usually doesn't not want to be caught. But apparently she just feels like she doesn't she doesn't feel like it today. <laughs> All right, let's see. Will she let you get close enough to catch the clover horse? She caught her. Oh, thank goodness. My victim. <laughs> we call them that because when they don't want to be caught, sometimes yeah, they they feel like they're just they don't want to do anything. <laughs> And there's Hopi. Now, how to go about grooming this horse while I video over oh, Sass, her giant mane, which I hope to enhance with MTG oil. By the way, if you buy that, you should probably wear gloves because it has sulfur, which can make you immune to antibiotics. So, wear gloves. Don't be sassy. You want your flag, right? why I do this because she's a little pushy sometimes but she knows her space boundaries but she gets ahead of me sometimes don't run me down please she's like no the flag oh my gosh I'm gonna die <laughs> we're probably gonna edit some of this out here very small Bye. Bye. there they go off to flag work Daisy is following them she's really pregnant she is probably gonna have puppies really soon her third litter <laughs>
for their amazing tails, but then we were we did some research and we found out it pulls out the hair a lot. So we don't want to go totally unrushed. So it looks really weird, especially if they have burrs. So we just use the hard brush to brush. There. Oh. Um, to brush their manes and tails. Okay. Oh, they're back from flag work. Clover, you have so much hay right here. Let's get the tail. Okay, we barely brush the tail because we don't want to, like, do anything to its long hairs. All right, girl. They're back from flag work. I like to saddle Clover before I do flag work. Hope needs it before because she needs to get into the right mindset before she even gets saddled. I like to do it with the saddle to get Clover used to the saddle. And so she stops floating so I can actually get the girth tight enough to get on. I actually don't know how tight to make a girth. I just stick it as tight as I possibly can. Which, with my old saddle, was all the way up on both sides oh, yesterday. I feel that my horse's chestnut. <laughs> you did? <laughs> she shattered it. I really need to trim her hose, too, like, really badly. Today I'm hoping to make my own... Your horse's your horse chestnut. I'm hoping to make my own farrier hoof stand. So I will post a video for that, hopefully, and show you guys how to do it too. This is how you do double grooming way faster, by the way. Uh, yeah, I don't know how she does it. I, I just, it's, I mean, sometimes I succeed in doing it. But, well, I found I just, I get it done faster if I just forget about the whole double grooming thing. Hey, Gigi. Always check for under your horse's belly. Uh, can Pick you take this thing? I need to pick pack. hooves. Oh, maybe it would be a good idea to show. Show picking hooves. It's gonna be really hard with this thing. I hope it doesn't get kicked. It doesn't have a cape. Oh, oh so God, Clover. All right. Um. You pick the hoof. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this thing. I'll hold it. This is how you pick hooves. You can't pick it with one hand. Always pick away from the horse's frog so you don't hurt it. Clean out the hoof. Okay. Mm, hoof picking complete. Some hooves have, um, hoof picks have a brush. Ours does not, so we just have to, like, scrape it. Here comes the back hoof. All right. Clover's not very good. With we'll show hoof. hope for the back hoof. Because she's, she's way better. Now, I'm going to have to do not double grooming because I have to hold my iPad while I film to okay. film with it. All right. It is time to saddle people. Do you want right. to see how we do that? All right. So, we take the saddle pad. And I look for, like, burrs. Not the burrs would really get stuck on it. But I do it anyway. Especially you Western riders out there, you have that fluffy pad. Please check. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, so you're technically supposed to saddle on the right or left side. No, you're supposed to saddle on the left side, not the right side. But I do the right side because, well, I don't want my horse, if I forget one day, to go on the left side, to suddenly freak out because I saddled on the wrong side. But we're gonna do it on the left. I prefer the left because her mane's on the right side, so it's easier to see. But I can, I like doing the right too, so that I make sure she's not gonna spook at that. I also get on on the right. I like getting on right on the right better because there's the mane. And sometimes I hang out on the right too much. <laughs> sometimes I hang out on Hope's left a little too much. So I've been trying to mount on the right side, but it's so hard because I'm not used to. Oh, be glad you equestrians who have mounting blocks. I tried to mount my horse from the tree. She did not like it. But I I do mount bareback from trees since she's too tall, her 14.8 hand self. <laughs> but I still haven't figured out how to mount from in a saddle from her to her because okay, so she doesn't like it. These little thingies, and you can stick it on one or two. I just stick it on one because, honestly, I'm going to stick it on two. She's talking about the little... Attachment of the saddle pad. Lily, you're on. Okay, sorry. Attachment of the saddle pad to the billets. 
Yeah. She just sticks it on one. I do too, because it's easier. I used to stick it on two, but I found it just fits better on one. Okay, then I take the stretchy side of the girth. And my girth, I got a new one, but it was too small. The leather girth. I was so sad about that. Anyway, I need to find this one. This one's getting a hole in it, and it's just, you can see it's wearing and... Also, wow, a little too I looked it up in a pair. Well, this site said I couldn't use black for Hunter. I don't know if that's true. I couldn't find girths in Hunter rules. Anyway, I'd rather not take that chance. Also, leather's nicer, so either way, I want to get another one. This one, I could sell it. I don't know if anyone would buy it, though. It's pretty worn. <laughs> anyway, is it an equal royal saddle? So, I'm going to have to find an equal royal girth because the girth buckles don't fit very well on the billet, as you can see. I have to really push it. I like that the saddle has nylon oh, on the okay. back, though. Because I feel like it makes it stronger. I know. That's just my preference. <laughs> Mine, too. All right. Anyway, okay. Going to the other side, Clover. Hey. And then basically what happens is she reaches under the horse, grabs the girth, and then does what she already did. Alright, we're back. This is how you do a back huff. You pick up your horse's huff. And you take it with the hand like this, and you rest it on your knee. Like that. I'm not going to pick it out because I'm filming right now, and Lily's doing flag work, so she can't help me. But that's it. I'm going to pause again now because we need Saddle Hopi. All right. Then we'll come back for bridling. All right. Bye for now. Okay. We're back. Clover is completely saddled, and I just did flag work with her. She was really good. Here comes Hopi and bridling. She's kind of head shy. She doesn't like her bridle. But G is working on that with her. And here comes the sass ball. Hello, Watch out, Hopi. Here comes the horse. Look at her little moon. Lily. She's so cute. Make way for the horse. The horse is sassy. Sassy, young lady. Sometimes she gives me a hard time. I'm so sad with her. Come on. So I just do this with her. Get on. She realizes that I need this in and that she is getting her bridle on and she's wearing her tassie going for a ride, whether or not she wants to. <laughs> she enjoys the ride. You know, she does deep down in her horsey self. I hope it don't run me down. Okay. Yes. There's Daddy unloading his little red trailer. Alright, so this is what we do. We leave the halters on because we have rope halters. If your horse is in training, I recommend getting one of these. All right. I'm going to put the reins right here. Oh, oh the anger. Yeah. So angry. You going? Oh. Here you go. Oh. Her face. They don't like you, Mommy. And I put my hand right here. Oh. And I take my fingers and I push right in the little, that's the ear, <laughs> the little spot right there. Right, like get with the pole in between your hands. That's what I do. And then, oh no, no, no. Oh, no, no. Down. Hope he's not happy. Keep the head down. Just, As you can see, this is a struggle every day. We're working on it. Oh, the anger. Sometimes it's so sad because that's what my reins twisted. I have to start all over again. All right, now that we've got the reins over our head. You take the bridle. It's usually a little better for the bridle. Oh, and I recommend in the winter, we forgot to do this today, but take your bridle in side after your horse is saddled and ready because then you won't have to put a cold bit in their mouth because it really doesn't help when you put your hand around it because your hand is already cold. So my horse is just suffering with a cold bit right now. Oh, that's okay. It's good for her to get used to that. Like, it's not very nice when they feel like do that. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. She's a good horse. 
the doggy eat time. Alrighty. Nice how you ride a horse. We're gonna pause now. So I can't film and my horse and make sure I have a good shot for a clover. Plus, she is a dream with bridling, so or okay. Without that. She doesn't <laughs> have any problems. Alright, you want to pause well? Yes. Man, I have to take off my glove. Oh, okay, Gigi. There's no way I'm going to pause the thing without dropping it. All right, here. Was I making too much noise? I didn't. Okay, we actually decided to show you because if you've never, if you're thinking about getting a horse, then you'll probably want to see how it's supposed to look like. So here's Clover. What a good horse. Helpy. Be a good girl. Stick your hand in their mouth, Clover, to get the bit on. Clover, she just takes it. And you just stick the ears in, and voila. Oh, <laughs> the ear is crushed. <laughs> Try not to crush your horse's ears. Good job, Clover. And there's the good pony. You're so cute. All right, sweetness, are you ready to ride? She's ready to ride. She doesn't like cantering. We we want to be lazy, but that's okay. I love her anyway. And then she's a really good horse. She's not spoiled. Okay, maybe a little bit spoiled. Not super spoiled, not like pony spoiled. She just gets some treats. She likes treats. Alfalfa cues are her treats. And she loves them. She doesn't like sugar or peppermint. <laughs> Neither does my and horse. She doesn't like your process horse treats very well either. She prefers to have alfalfa cues. Okay, I'm gonna tighten the girth. Throat latch, Lil. Throat latch. Oh, yeah. Still dangling. <gasps> okay. Oh, speaking of girths, I need to tighten my horse's girth one hole too. Jeff, always. You do not want to end up with your horse on the ground, in, on your horse's belly, with your saddle on your horse's belly. That is not a good place for either of you. The saddle or you. Or your horse either. Your horse does not want something underneath its belly. You I also don't want to be there. no idea what Clover would do if that happened. She'd probably freak out. Probably all horses would freak out. Or a large majority of them. So just make sure you get your girth nice and tight. You really, you probably can't physically make your girth tight enough to hurt your horse. So just get well, as tight as you can. But remember, walk your horse. Unless you're a grown up. Unless you're yeah, a grown maybe. up. Maybe. If you're really, really strong. But probably even still not. So just don't use anything to tighten your girth except for your hands. And remember, walk your horse a lot because our horses bloat. And I don't know about yours, but just be aware of horses. They will bloat. A lot of them do. And then you'll think, oh, how tight. My girth is, my saddle's never going to slide. Then it slides because your horse bloated. Which means they puffed up, take a deep breath and hold their breath in. While you saddle and you're like, oh, I got as tight as I could. And then you get on and your horse lets out that breath and the saddle goes slide onto the horse's belly. I like to do oh, this well. over before I get on to make sure she's okay with anything. Like this, at least. Because she fell off and broke her arm. She's fine. When her horse, her trainer was adjusting the stirrup. So, she's made it a point, and so have I, to get this girl desensitized okay, to that. Gee, which I, I should probably get on the left today, huh? Yep. Hush. Don't now, we're going to show individually each of us riding, because we don't have anyone on the ground who can do this. I don't know what mom was doing, but daddy's getting wood for us, so he's busy. So you're just gonna see individually what we ride, what we do. Alright. I'm dropping my horse. I went like this. Oh no. She actually stands pretty well if I leave her like that, but sometimes she wanders off. Right there she has like a little dimple because she had a tooth abscess. She came from a rescue, so and then she came to our farm, and then I got her. We paid like, I don't know. $1,500 for that, and then a little less recently to get this tooth out that was causing this. It's healed up. It's like completely closed now. So great. And she's back in business. There's a spooky horse. <laughs> Just get her moving. Try to make her, make her get 
her mind on something else. Okay? Hope and I are having to move around a lot to see this. Oh, there's my horse. We're just cantering. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> We're just like, I want to canter today. Take advantage of it, Lily. Okay. Say, okay, you want to be spooky? I'm going to make your spooky energy into go. Take advantage of this newfound energy. Just don't run us down in the process. <laughs> Alright. Uh, pretty good. I don't know if you're sitting in chair seat though, let me see. A little bit, but not terrible. That was Clover. At least I think it was, because I remember seeing it when I was doing it with Hope, and I thought, oh, that's strange. Alrighty, now Clover's gonna do the jump course. My horse is, of course, pooping in the middle of the course <laughs> in the combination. How sweet of you. Aww, but I love you. You're a good horse. Gonna, uh, there she is. What a good horse that is. Horse is free. Grabbing horse again before horse escapes. Alright. Oh, my voice sounded weird. <laughs> Alright. Clover is just, you know, getting used to the new environment that she sees every day. Lily's right, though. She looks fresh for Clover. You may think, oh, that looks like a nice brisk canter. Clover never has brisk canters. It's like, Ugh, I can't run. I can hardly walk. She's just really fresh right now. And, well, Clover's can get a little spooky when she's fresh, so Lily makes sure she gets under control. Looking good. now we're gonna pause because I'm she's getting off and then I'm gonna ride hopefully there we go all right we're back this time I got off Clover yep we try to saddle it's okay it's a good saddle
All right, we're up at the trees. I'm gonna. There's Clover. Okay, G's taking the road. And get the reins in front so I don't pass my lead rope in between my reins. Pick up my reins. And then I take the throat latch. I unbuckle it. Unbuckle the nose band. And take my horse's leg off. She's much better at the end of the ride. <laughs> mm, she's cute. What a good horse you are. Alright, I'm bridling. Oh, wait, figure it. This is how you figure it a bridle. So you just hang it like this, the reins. Then you hang it up on something. You take your throat latch. And reins bridle everything. Goes inside the throat latch, wrap once, wrap twice, then take the thing that you attach the throat latch to. Oh, this is not what's supposed to happen when it falls off. <laughs> you take the thing that you attach to the throat latch when you're putting it on the horse, and instead of buckling it, you just run it through the loops. So you can just pull the keepers when you want to put your bridle on your horse again. And then you take the nose band. And you wrap it around once. Happy horse. <laughs> oh, right, well, sassy. All right, now, run saddling. You pull up on your girth on the elastic side. Don't get in. If you're looking at girth, don't get uh, girth with elastic on both sides because it just won't get tight enough and you'll end up with your saddle slipping. But it's great to have one side because you can right, actually get your saddle girth. Can you undo this? Gonna drop this girth. How oh, horse? All right, Clover. Horse is being good. I step back. I walk behind my horse. Not too close, though. So you don't get kicked. Don't put your hand on your horse's hindquarters and walk really close. Huh? If you have to do that, then do that as close as you can, because the closer you are, the less it's gonna hurt if you get kicked. But it's just better if you walk all the way around. Then I take this. I like this. I'm doing this one-handed because I'm filming right now. Oh, try not to push the saddle off my horse's back as I do this. Taking the girth off and out. I hang it over my shoulder. Oh, you can't see my shoulder. Oh well. Then I take these keepers off. This out. And now I just take the saddle and the saddle pad and everything. Lily, I need help. <laughs> I, ha I usually use two hands for this activity. I need Lily to hold this while I take off my saddle. And you take it off. And then I just set it down on the swing. Oh, and then we have the girth on top. And we put the riser pad. And we put the saddle pad. And that is the end. Alright. There's the Hopi. There's the clover. Poor clover got scared of that. I mean, it's a giant horse-eating machine that's just ready to come out and get you. Let's pause for brushing down. Okay, we're pausing. Goodbye for a moment. All right, people, we are back. Our horses are groomed. They had a nice horsey massage. Yes, they did. Uh oh, here it comes again. Clover gets a treat because she was a good girl. There's the horse eating machine. There's the clover. She's so cute. And then there's my niece. Happy. Hi. You are cute. Here's her beautiful clover. moon. Clover wants to be free. Okay, Clover, I'll free you. Yeah. You're free. Yay. There we and go. Here's the Hopi. Look at the niece, Billy. Look at Okay, the niece. niece is about to be freed now. Hopi. Oh, your moon. Oh, such a soft horse. All right, do you want to release right, us? There goes the horse. Hello, Sass. Goodbye, Sassball. <laughs> Sassball leaves. There goes Sassball and the jumping bean. I call her that because she likes to jump the fence sometimes. <laughs> she Bye squishes up. it down Bye to about girl. three feet the and then she jumps it. But she's a good girl. <laughs> she's cute. Goodbye, Clover. Thank you for the ride. All right. So that was it. Basically, the life of an equestrian, without a barn at least. <laughs> if you're wondering what inspired us to have a vlog, 
then just so you know it's justine palmer we love your videos and your adorable horse holly we think you're great and keep making videos all right yeah see you next time that's horses for heaven oh half leaders for heaven <laughs>